And um, so this is ConfuGen. He's a, a fellow DGen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we just wanted to have a chat about a few things. I You've been doing a few Twitter spaces that have been pretty nice. I think I, I might just share my screen uh, because you, you, ConfuGen isn't doxed. Uh, maybe if you want, just uh, do you want to tell people how you got into crypto or how long you've been into crypto? And how, and what you're interested in stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. So I only got into crypto in 2021. I guess like a lot of people during the lockdown. Um, yeah, I think using uh, I think I had a Revolut account and they kept pushing crypto on there. And then one of my friends told me to buy a coin called um. You're probably familiar with that coin called Cardano. I think oh, he yes. found it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he found it on YouTube. So I bought like maybe 200 bucks. And uh, then that thing did like, I didn't check it for a while. Then maybe like two months later, he told me it did like a 20X. I was like, what the hell? And yeah, yeah. Then when I saw kind of the gains you can get into crypto, in crypto, I just kind of, yeah, got uh, red pilled, I guess. Yeah. And did you kind of stick around during the bear market? Because I, I think you've been, You've been pretty active from what I've seen. Yeah, I did. So I got into NFTs um, uh, mainly. And yeah, I did I did stick around during the bear market, still minting stuff, still using different platforms and and things like that. Yeah, I just found it pretty fun, actually. Yeah, like uh, NFTs kind of carried on for almost, it feels like a year or maybe at least six months after crypto topped. Like everyone was still going crazy for NFTs. I kind of feel like that will happen again at the end of this. Like after coins stop pumping, hopefully we get another NFT run because, you know, I was I was big into NFTs when they were going crazy as well. And like I have on the screen there here, ordinals as well. Maybe they could be the big NFTs of this cycle. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I think NFTs, even the meme coins are the big thing right now. Yeah. I still think NFTs are more fun because... Because you know they can pump much quicker, right? If if they get swept and the rarities and and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I think yeah, I think runes runes is the shiny new thing of this cycle, and it's yeah, on true. the mother chain, right? It's on Bitcoin. So yeah, I I do think if we do see some form of like JPEG hype, it definitely will be it definitely will be on uh, uh ordinals. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of advantages. I kind of wrote down a couple of things. Uh, this is what's better about runes, but in regards to ordinals, yeah, they're kind of the new shiny thing, just like you said, and they're on Bitcoin, so it's like the biggest chain, so there's way more capital there. And the other real nice thing that you don't have you don't have on ETH, like I think a few NFTs are fully inscribed on chain, but most of them are just a ipfs ipfs link <laughs> so yeah they're more luxurious they're kind of like more of a flex new shiny thing they have like potentially a huge amount of upside and uh yeah i think like at the start of the last cycle like 2021 meme coins were kind of going crazy during the start of the cycle and like the midway through the cycle and nfts were kind of like kind of like i guess they were new so they I feel like ordinals right now are kind of the same in the same place that NFTs were like halfway through the last cycle. Like they've had a bit of a pump, but they haven't had their real crazy pump just yet. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, also like, like you said, ETH NFTs are like, uh, just on some website, right. That can get removed. Whereas these yeah. things are on, on directly on Bitcoin. And even yeah. I think even Elon Musk may have said that once as well. So, yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, so I think that is a good kind of marketing tool for like normies and stuff to get them into it as well as something different to NFTs. And then also I think ETH NFTs uh, in particular have a lot of bag holders um, who, you know, bought the top and didn't sell and bought all this art stuff that's diluted like art blocks and, and yeah, whatever. Tell me better. <laughs> yeah. The same here. So, so like when you have all these bag holders, even like with coins, right? It's really hard for a coin to pump. 
So yeah, that's, that's why like newer coins always pump. So that's why I think ordinals have more of a chance to do some some crazy exes versus that uh, ETH uh, stuff. Yeah, and the fact that they're the fact that they're fully on chain, like on the biggest chain, means our ordinals are going to be there for the next fifty years. Like they're going to be on Bitcoin. They're going to be inscribed on Bitcoin for a hundred years, maybe. Whereas like an ETH NFT that's just an image stored in Amazon web services. Like that, those bored apes might not be around in 20 years. You know, it's not the image might not still be like the, sir, someone might not still be paying the service charges for it or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. And while I've not actually been checking ordinals cause I just didn't want to look cause I knew there was like <laughs> a, a retrace. I didn't yeah. see realize puppets were so low. Like Man, that's definitely yeah. something I want. I want a puppet, and uh, me too. That's a pretty good. Like I probably will never buy one because I just don't want to spend that much money. But at this price, it's it's looks looking pretty nice. Yeah, man, I'm actually very tempted. I, I was looking at them now. Like, do you think Bitcoin puppets? Do you think they have staying power, or they're just kind of a a meme project that kind of has has already had its day in the sun? It's going to come and go, or like, do you think that community is quite strong? I think it's pretty strong. I think you have some good like influencers like Thread Guy, and yeah, these uh, have have it as a PFP, um, and I think they're pretty active and in, in like meme coins and stuff and do pretty well on that. The only downside I think is because they have their own um, Rune uh, LBRC, the pups thing. I guess yeah. it's tied to the performance of that now. True. Which is a bit, and because I think that's down, the puppets are down. But you know, if that pumps, I do think you'll see. Uh, and I do, I do think it will one day. And then I do think you'll see a pump on uh, uh, puppets as well. Um, because there's not much choice otherwise, is there? Yeah, like probably the well, potentially the blue chip ordinal, like it's probably already made, but there's a potential that it's not even made yet, you know. Because it's it's still relatively early. Like, I was convinced Bitcoin Frogs was going to be the blue chip because that was like the first PFP on Bitcoin. But it kind of it's been way overshadowed by the newer ones. So maybe they'd be. Like, I'd I'd say it's definitely worth paying attention to ordinals. Like I know they're pretty. It's kind of daunting to set up the wallets, but it's actually quite simple now. Like, it's not. It's not like Magic Eden makes it really really easy. Like I think six months ago, it was it was, it was quite a, quite a nightmare. It was it was manageable, but now it's as easy as Ethereum, basically. So I guess it's just people still don't want to have to set up a new wallet and stuff. But I think it's worth paying attention and trying to find the next big ordinal. I'd say there's going to be more like ones that go absolutely crazy because at the moment there's only what maybe five ordinal collections that are relevant. Like the rest of them probably aren't very well known or like probably aren't going to do extraordinarily well. Yeah, I to totally agree. Node, Node Monkeys actually is a good one as well. I remember I wanted to mint it because I think originally it was a free mint, but then they put a price on it and I was kind of new to ordinals then. So it sounded pretty high to me. I think, it, but it, in, in hindsight, it wasn't actually that bad. But yeah, mm. I think, I think Node Monkeys is a, uh, another good one that can probably stand it's put the test of time it looks pretty is it only 0.236 wow that thing yeah. was at 0.8 wasn't it like a few 0. months 8, ago jesus i think it did get there for like a day or two yeah which is crazy yeah, yeah i have a bitcoin frog that was 0. 0.5 briefly as well wow <laughs> yeah i remember not said actually it's crazy yeah. i know Quantum cats are holding up, and that's um they have the OP cat thing coming up, don't they? Yeah, that's right. I I'm not. I should be following it more, but I think, I think they are trying to release. I think the test now has been released, and I think they're trying to release the whole the full thing by the end of this year, which is quite ambitious. Is it? Um, it's basically a Bitcoin layer two, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. It's a Bitcoin layer two, and they're trying to get a lot of big names like uh they've got a lot of big names supporting it and stuff and i think they want to create like dexes and smart contracts and things on bitcoin and just create a lot more liquidity so i, I do think 
once it is released, it's going to be pretty good, especially for things like runes, which are like very illiquid right now. Yeah, if there's going to be a successful Bitcoin layer two, it's probably like when it comes to layer twos on Ethereum, like they're all equally good from a tech perspective. They're probably all similar enough, but it's whichever layer two can get the most attention that people actually use. So like Base and Blast, obviously, are the biggest L2s. So if there's going to be a layer two on Bitcoin that people actually use, it's probably going to be from these guys because these guys are... It's um, what's his name? Eric Wall and uh, who who's the other guy creating it? Oh, Udi. Udi, yeah. Udi they're, like, they're, yeah, they're the biggest guys in like non Bitcoin maxi Bitcoin. So yeah, if they make a L two, I'm sure everyone will be using it. Yeah, and that's yeah, obviously I agree. that's obviously really bullish for Quantum Cats. Like they're probably I don't know if they're going to integrate it, but just from a narrative perspective. And that's that's your PFP as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's my PFP. I it was crazy because like, uh, I remember like wanting to mint it because it was hyped for to make profit, right? And then yeah. I kind of they forced you to learn what it was to actually get the whitelist because you had to make content about it. You had to oh, make really? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had to form a group. So I had to find people. Luckily, I knew someone at IRL who she was forming a group so I, I joined her group and then we had to make videos and she, she did quite a lot of it, actually she made like a video of trying to find cats and then we had to explain in a thread what opcat is and some people made posters and yeah and nice. I had no idea what this all was but I actually liked the way they did it they forced you to learn everything and yeah. um even even throughout even since then there's missions you have to do we don't know what they're for but again it's always learning new things about OpCat and then creating content around it. So it's yeah. pretty cool how they've done that. Yeah. And did you have to hop in the shower in a wizard costume as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's for the Tapri Wizards. Yeah. So the, yeah. the main collection. I didn't, I did all the tasks, but I didn't do that one. That was the only one okay. I haven't done. <laughs> so, I, haven't, I haven't even looked into that. Yeah. Um, they were quite funny to watch those, some of those videos. Uh, <laughs> What's the story with the. Um... The Taproot Wizards, like, when are they coming out or is there any details on that? And, like, is that going to take away from the Quantum Cats at all? Or they'll be, I suppose, just sister collections? Yeah, so it's strange. So Taproot Wizards is the premier collection, but it's not released. But the second secondary collection, uh, Quantum Cats, has been released. Um, right. So Taproot Wizards is very, very hyped. And I think that's why I, I knew that Quantum Cats would be pretty do pretty well because um, I think Taproot Wizards were one of the first inscriptions inscribed on Ordinals. Um, yeah. And um, they raised like 7.5 million from VCs uh, for, op I think for OpCat. And people are speculating that if you hold Quantum Cats, you may have a chance to mint. Um, I think you can have dead or alive cats and if you have a dead and, a, and an alive cat you get a special role an entangled role in the discord so i think it's pretty clear if you have two then you you'll probably be able to mint but if you have one and maybe you do all the missions maybe there's a chance right and how many taproot wizards is there i see there's there's three thousand quantum cats so maybe there's like a thousand taproot wizards is there there's there's around two thousand one hundred uh type right, of wizards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because some so, have already been given given out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you reckon Taproot Wizards, what price would they be in comparison to Quantum Cats? So I think I know that in the past some of them have gone OTC for one Bitcoin. Um so I'm expecting maybe maybe like point seven, point seven plus. Yeah, because they are I, they are pretty hyped. Um, so yeah, as long as they maintain the hype, then I, uh, I yeah, could, oh. I could definitely see that. Like, probably easy one Bitcoin. Well, like right now, I, I guess the ordinals are down a little bit, but as like when things come back a bit, I'd say Taproot Wizards would be the top collection, in my opinion. Yeah, I I agree, especially if Opcat is up and running, everyone's using it. Yeah. Um, 
yeah maybe maybe you'll get airdrops to things i don't know loki yeah, though i kind of wish i think quantum cast went to 0.5 loki i kind of wish i sold it there because yeah that was pretty good but you know you, you can never time these things it's pretty it's pretty difficult yeah well i'm definitely looking at picking up a bitcoin puppet to be honest mm-hmm. i think it's a good buy at this range i don't see that much downside yeah Will we uh move on to runes maybe sure so um i saw this tweet i thought that was interesting so runes are basically the god level protocol for everyone to launch a meme coin 100 percent public transparent can immediately check the team allocation because you can't do a pre-sale or anything well it's like you everyone mints directly at the same time kind of thing like you pay the gas to be able to mint it so no liquidity open to everyone um so i guess the big thing with runes is are they going to be easy to trade because right now they're kind of shit to trade but i suppose if they're going to have a meme coin super cycle if runes are going to be involved in that they're like things like op cat that layer two is it's going to be needed because at the moment they're it's still a little bit clanky but uh what are your thoughts on runes like i think the entire market cap of runes is like less than the market cap of bonk like a medium-sized meme coin on solana when it's on the biggest chain so there is like a lot of potential upside there yeah i agree i think again it's like uh like you said it's meme coins on bitcoin like we do need more liquidity so whether that's opca whether that's big tier one exchange listings like binance um things like that like i guess pups have done pups did the bridge didn't they well they they have the brc at the moment but they've done a bridge to solana and i think that's why we had a big pump on pups initially because they brought so much liquidity uh with the li- liquidity pools on solana um i think yeah i think runes has a big chance to do well um i do think it has big competition with the initial one brc20 because they're upgrading i think they're upgrading soon to have liquidity pools and and things like that whereas i think the creator of runes doesn't want um he doesn't want smart contracts or he's not going to build smart contracts on runes because he doesn't like Mev botting, you know, like the that issue we have on Solana and Ethereum and stuff. So, but I, I do think third parties like Opcat and Magic Eden and, and other places are gonna bring bring a lot more DeFi um to runes. And and yeah, I think um I think yeah, even even though it's only a few billion in market cap, it's still pretty impressive for something that's only been out a month. Like you said, it's really difficult to buy um and clunky and um yeah i just think there's massive upside on them and then so i didn't even know that about brc20s i kind of thought runes were just gonna destroy brc20s i thought brc20s were already dead to be honest (laughs) but uh yeah yeah go on yeah no i think i thought the same but then um i think uh, I was just looking into the protocol and how they're upgrading it. And then you just had the biggest mo- uh, BRC marketplace, Unisat, did a big airdrop of uh, pizza, which is yeah, the first. You, sh- you showed me that, yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so I think, yeah, if they do, I think they're going to try, I think people like Unisat are going to try and keep more attention on BRC. And I, I do think that, um, well, I, apparently Asia, uh, they, they were pretty early to BRC and are big fans. And apparently they're still pretty, they're still more favorable to BRCs than Runes. And also right. the uh, uh, the founder of Runes, so he, he said recently he's not going to introduce uh, like Chinese or Mandarin um, letters on Runes. So I think things like that doesn't help. So, you know, you might just see a divide with Asia favoring BRCs more and um the Western kind of people favoring uh, runes. Okay, so it's a bit, it's not as clear cut as it might seem then. So I think maybe, I suppose ordinals are maybe a safer bet then because that doesn't have any competition in the same way like. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, there was this, there was some other protocols like stamps and stuff that oh, yeah. are still out, but, but I, I think with like things like ordinals and you just need the culture. And I think ordinals has that. And, and I don't think anyone will be able to take it, take away from that. Yeah. So what would your, maybe, what would your favorite runes be? Maybe if you want to rank them and, or if you have any, uh, ones, smaller cap ones that you're looking at. Yeah, so here. um so on these ones, okay, yeah. So I like Dog to the Moon. I think uh you can't really fade that Leonardo this guy, you know, he gave he gave a lot of OGs free, like the runestone free, and then that gave you the ordinal runestone free, which then gave you this dog to the moon uh runes. Um and he's just so viral, I think he gets a lot of attention and I think it wouldn't surprise me if this is this is the highest market cap one. It wouldn't surprise me if this one is the first one to get big listings. Um, I actually like all of the first. I like two to five actually. So I don't have any Arsic, but apparently they're building a Dex. Um, the Bank of Nakamoto Dollar. I I was recently looking into this one. I, I think this one's pretty that. underrated. Oh, the Bank of Nakamoto Dollar. Yeah, it's just new. So it's, it's actually been around a few weeks and I, I kind of ignored it as well. But then recently I was looking into it um, and um, it's a bit complicated, but it's trying to build like the first stable coin on Bitcoin um, using the Athena blockchain that's coming out. And to us, I don't quite understand understand it, but apparently it's yielding really high APY and it's some big like Ponzi. Oh, it's I don't, short I don't know how yeah. it's buying spot Bitcoin and well, no, it's not the you can't there's no yield on Bitcoin, so it couldn't be the same as Athena. But uh yeah, cool. And yeah, I think, Pepe, I think that's one to watch. Okay. Yeah, I'll look into that. And then Pepe go to the sun. I haven't seen this one either. I don't know if it's up 50x, so maybe uh, it's just low liquidity or something. <laughs> so yeah, to be honest, I haven't looked into that one, but it looks wash traded because I think I yeah. do think with Boons, I don't know how many holders this thing has, but it, yeah, it, it only has, has 6k looked... volume, so I think it's just I think yeah, that's just some sort of scam. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what's happening there, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, I like that one. Epic, 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 epic. epic I think that's on the okay. um, I think they paid like a few million or, or they paid a lot of money for the uh, Epic sat, which it's inscribed on. Um, so that's got a lot of history. I think they're doing airdrops to a lot of Ordinals communities. Uh, well, what's the, teams, what's so. the Epic, Epic sat? Um, it's like a certain type of uh, sat um, that, um, to be honest, I, oh, okay. So I think it was sold for 2 million um Jesus. and it's yeah it's on an epic satoshi a rare version of the smallest denomination of bitcoin so yeah cool people people into like historical stuff on the chain i think are big fans of that nice all right so i think that's most of the runes is there anything else you wanted to talk about runes um n n well I don't know. Like, I just think um, I think we just need some better tickers. Even the 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 founder of Rune said he doesn't like any of the tickers right now. <laughs> so I think we just need a bit more creativity, a bit more kind of maybe some DGEN people from Solana who are good at making tick coins, right? Coming over to Runes and making some more kind of fun ones. Because like Dog to the Moon is not very original. Um, you know, yeah. actually, none none of these are pretty. I don't know that great, right? But I guess it's pretty difficult to with how many letters do you have to use yeah we need something outrageous on it like <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um yeah and then there's i, I suppose with the rune stones we're going to be getting airdropped new tickers at some point as well yeah i think did he say uh there's two, did he say two or three more i think there's three more supposed to be four me. yeah so four in total okay. so three more so like if you're looking at runestone, it's kind of seems cheap if you're gonna get three more airdrops from it. I agree. I think as a long term hold is uh 
think yeah. potentially the best one here on this uh on this page. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I'm still holding mine anyway. Um all right, I think we should move on. I think the last thing I want to talk about is I suppose Blast is it's kind of wrapping up, but maybe I could just get your quick thoughts on Blast and you've been farming at a loss from what I've seen. To to be fair, I ha I I haven't done a lot. I've just been doing like uh i've been doing a few things so yeah so the tge is coming up it's got a lot of hype i think the uh the blast gold that you can earn from farming got listed on wells market today i think it's around four or five dollars which is in line with expectations um yeah in terms of so the reason why i started farming it a bit was uh because the founder Pac-Man did Blur, right? The Blur NFT marketplace. And even just small amounts of farming got you a pretty decent airdrop. So yeah. I kind of went with the same thesis. I was like, oh, okay, let me just do like a little bit of farming here and there when I can fit it in. And the things I've been farming mainly is Blur itself. So you can farm Blur again by just bidding and listing. So I've been farming Blast NFTs on Blur. Um, and what's cool about Blast is a lot of these NFTs are refundable. So I feel pretty safe if there's a refundable NFT on, on, um, Blur that's trending and it's near the refund price, I'm happy to bid on it. Cause even if I get it, I can always, and I can't sell it right now because it's under, the floor goes under mint. I can always refund it if I, you know, I can wait and, and refund it later. So yeah. I've been doing that and then the Socialfy district one um, where, I don't know if you've done that one, but where you can, where you um, basically join these like groups and every like few hours you can click rally and collect gems and these gems turn into gold. There's GM app, which is kind of like Instagram. So you post and if you get likes, you get, um, you can get gold um, and there's some games. I haven't been doing games, but there's some games you can play for gold because I'm not really much of a gamer. Um, and the other thing is, uh, oh yeah, Pac Moon. So that's like the biggest, you know, the biggest uh, meme coin on on Blast. Mm. So just just bought that and just held it. And because of just holding it and put it putting it into the Blast jackpot, I've been farming it by pretty much not doing much. Yeah. Hackman <laughs> seems like a like it's only a hundred million and it's like the biggest meme coin on the most one of the most degenerate chains. Uh, but like I suppose it's people are worried when everyone gets their blast airdrop, maybe that's a sell the news event, but maybe everyone is just gonna plow all this ETH into Pac Moon. So it's kinda hard to tell, but you know, I think it's what it's only a hundred million for Pac Moon and it's the biggest meme coin on that chain. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty low. That's why I, I also bought into it as well. Um, and a lot of people, I don't know if you've seen, but the short short interest is pretty high. Really? And yeah, I think, so So I think a lot of people only, because you know Blast is full of a lot of PVP people, right? Who farm Blair and who just won the airdrop. So they, they try and uh, mitigate their risk as much as possible. And a lot of people are doing a delta neutral hedge or almost delta neutral where they're shorting, they bought pack, put it in the jackpot, and then they shorted it on 1x leverage. So they're pretty much not much downside. Uh, I haven't done that. I probably should do that as well. Um, and then, yeah, if you win the gold, you're making money. And uh, and if you don't, it makes you're a not lot of sense. Do... Yeah. Oh, that's a, that was a smart strategy, actually. Yeah, it is. It you're, is. you're getting blast in both ways, or you're getting, yeah, the gold from having it in your wallet but also from shorting it on that whatever site they're shorting it on so yeah that would have been smart <laughs> probably could still do yeah. it yeah yeah exactly yeah so um and yeah i think you can do that with a lot of the meme coins on blast so if you if you speculate a meme coin is going to win you can just uh do this kind of delta neutral strategy on uh wasabi i think you don't wasabi.xyz if i'm not wrong yeah 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 and uh, have you been playing fantasy top at all? Yeah, so I did initially because I was like, because uh, they were quite clever with how they onboarded you. So 
you know, most people who do blast or just had a decent like uh who are on Twitter, I guess, and, and had been around for a while could could get a free or a cheap uh pack. So because of that I got two cheap packs and I opened them and um then they were teasing us with loads of blast gold. So yeah, I did initially play it. I ended up selling most of my cards because they pumped and a little bit and um yeah, I just thought I wasn't sure how sustainable it was, and yeah, yeah, it it kind of wasn't because all the cards are down bad now. The thing yeah. is, I think now is a good time to play it because I think there's yeah. still a lot of um gold left. I don't know. Have you have you been playing it? Yeah, I've been playing it a bit. Like I haven't been going mad. I just put in like one eat or something. But uh, okay. yeah, I think it's really really cool, really fun game. <laughs> I, I I really like it. So I think it has. I, I I guess you're getting like a triple airdrop or at least a double airdrop. You're getting the blast gold and then you're getting all these points as well. And then I suppose your cards go up in value, hopefully as well, if you're picking the right ones. Yeah. I, I think also I was finding I wasn't picking the right, I was initially, <laughs> I don't know. And then yeah. I wasn't picking the right one. So I thought, let me stop, but I'm still holding some cards uh, just for the jackpot. Um, and yeah, is there any cards you think are like a good buy right now? Uh, I haven't really been paying too much attention to like individual cards, to be honest. I I just right. bought, yeah, I just bought some at the start, but these are my cards. Uh, but you know these are pretty well known guys on Twitter that were cheap at the time, so that's what I was trying to go for. But uh, yeah, I didn't strategize with it too much. Like I know there's people who are like really into the game with these crazy strategies, but I just wanted to get a bit of exposure to it, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, is there any other things you're farming on Blast? No, I'm I'm not going crazy on Blast. I've just been personally just been in spending most of my time in the Solana meme coin trenches. <laughs> nice. Is that a are you interested in there in there at all? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have been buying them as well. Uh, especially the celebrity meta right now. Yeah, uh, has been man, quite interesting. I saw, I fucking saw that mother t token. I shared it with my group at like one million or something, and I just faded it because it was like unsure if it was definitely hers. But yeah, it was, I think it's like what two or three hundred million now. But, oh man, you know, I, I, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it at one mil or, or less. Really? You know, because I also got I also saw it shared in a TG I'm in. And yeah. then obviously it wasn't confirmed and then it dumped and then I sold it for a loss. <laughs> and then I woke up the next day and it was like confirmed. So yeah, yeah I, I did end up buying it back because I, I liked the way that she was coming across Iggy Azelia was coming across and, and stuff. So I'm still holding it now. I still yeah. I still think it I don't know. I feel like she keeps getting attention. Like today, she was um, at Wall Street, right? Posting stuff with people at Wall Street. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not great with meme coins. So, if I find one that's got attention, even if it can just do a 2x or something, I'll be happy with happy with that, to be honest. Yeah, I think this celebrity meta, it looks like it's probably just starting, to be honest. Like, there's bigger and bigger celebrities joining every every few days it's it's getting absolutely crazy you know isn't it like ansem is going to be fighting andrew tate like this is just <laughs> wild <laughs> feels like the cycle has just started but like things are going to be so much bigger than the last cycle already you can kind of see the hints of at the absolute degeneracy that's coming our way like <laughs> i agree i think that meme coins i know they were big last cycle but they're kind of really like the nfts of this cycle right yeah, um, yeah definitely yeah, I just don't know. Like, yeah, I I think I think you're probably right. It's probably the celebrity niche that's gonna do well. I don't know about everything else. Like, it'll be yeah. interesting if like yeah, all the they're... cats and dogs and stuff still do well. Yeah, it's it's becoming a bit too consensus right at, at the moment. So it's like, who's the next buyers when everything everyone is saying meme coins are the only thing worth buying? It's like, all right, but then who else? Who else is left to buy? unless like retail come so i suppose we're all just banking on retail coming soon but other if that doesn't happen within the next few months i don't know meme coins like it's it's just hard to predict you know yeah i agree i think i think um 
meme coins used to be like a left curve play and now they're like a mid curve play yeah um and I, I was actually thinking this recently maybe utility coins are now the left curve play so yeah. that's where i'm looking at and also um ton i've been completely fading but i don't know if you've been looking at ton blockchain but yeah, I, haven't, really I haven't been what they're doing yeah i haven't been involved but yeah it's definitely something probably should be involved with yeah there's just too much going on right yeah yeah <laughs> uh, we're only at like halfway through as well so <laughs> yeah exactly all right man well uh i might wrap up there um because sure. i only have a couple of minutes left on the free zoom <laughs> <laughs> Good, no worries yeah so uh, i really really appreciate coming on it was great chatting to you yeah likewise and uh yeah maybe we can get you on again just to chat about whatever is happening because yeah that, that was really enjoyable yeah for sure hopefully next time runes are at 100 billion market cap <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I, um i think i'm actually gonna buy i'm really tempted to, to get a, a puppet now to be honest because i don't have uh, i don't have any of the blue chip ordinals so i kind of need one don't i <laughs> I think you can't go wrong with a puppet because yeah like it's down what 80 yeah. percent or 70 percent so yeah that that i would i would be looking at in that price range i'd be looking at a puppet or the runestone rune as well mm. yeah I, I don't have a runestone because i uh stupidly sold it early so <laughs> okay, I, yeah. I do want to get one again i have yeah. dog to the moon i bought it at, like, i bought it later again but yeah, RuneStone is something I do want to get again. Yeah. All right, man. Well, nice one. Thank you so much for coming on. All right, mate. Take and, it uh, easy. Cheers. I might see you in one of your spaces soon. 